In this video, you will learn how to choose the right conductors and in insulation. Conductors make electrical connections possible. Their role is to conduct current to receptacles. They are always carefully sheathed in a plastic casing to prevent leakage. This also makes it possible to handle electrical wires safely. Before this electrical intervention, please turn off the power for the network concerned. For this operation, you will need 1.5, 2.5, 4, 6 and 10 mm squared conductors. This operation is carried out in three steps which we will explain. Step 1. Choose the conductor size. The cross-section of the conductor, also referred to as its diameter, is selected by the current it is used for, i.e. the maximum load allowed for the circuit. To determine the load necessary for a circuit in function of its use, please watch the video Estimate the Consumption of Domestic Electrical Appliances. If the maximum load allowed in the circuit is 16 amperes, a 1.5 mm conductor size will be adequate. For 20 amperes, choose a conductor with a cross section of 2.5 mm squared. For 25 amperes, a 4 mm squared conductor. For 32 amperes, a 6 mm conductor. Lastly, for 45 amperes, a conductor with a diameter of 10 mm squared. Step 2. Determine the conductor's core. The conductor's core designates its general constitution. In residential systems, the norms require copper conductors. These have the advantage of being less resistant to current flow. Step 3. Choose the insulation. The protective casing must be adapted to the cable's environmental conditions, such as temperature, the presence of water, or the risk of mechanical impact. The most common material is reticulated polyethylene, which can be used in almost all situations, indoors or outdoors. Polyvinyl chloride can only be used indoors. You now know how to choose the right conductors and insulation.